Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to do the practical experimentation on measurement of power and power factor. The circuit diagram for the measurement of power factor is this one. So here we are going to have an AC supply and we are connecting the voltmeter. So this is the two terminals of the voltmeter. To get a clarity, let's try to mark as positive terminal and negative terminal. And current flows like this, this is positive terminal and negative terminal. And the terminals for the wattmeter R, M is main, L is nothing but load, C is nothing but common and V is nothing but voltage. So this is the circuit diagram and we are going to close it through an wire bound rheostat. Okay. Now let us try to give the connections. You can see here. So first initially let us try to give this loop. So from supply to ammeter. Okay. So you can see here, this is our auto transformer. So from the supply positive terminal, I mean supply phase to the ammeter and ammeter output. Okay. So this is the ammeter output. Ammeter range is of uh, 5 amps. Okay. So this is the range of ammeter. So this is uh, 5 amps. From 5 amps to it has to go to M. M is nothing but main. MC has to be short circuited. Okay. So M and C we are going to short circuit. M and C is short circuited and from L it has to go to the load. Okay. So L. Okay. So this is nothing but L are connected to the rheostat. This is the input of the rheostat and this is the output of the rheostat. This I am going to close. Okay. I am going to make an closed path. So very simple. So as per the circuit diagram you can see here. So as per the circuit diagram I am connecting the voltmeter and the watt meter and I am connecting the rheostat which forms an closed path. Okay. So this is the closed path we are going to establish initially. So from positive supply to ammeter and output of the ammeter to M, M and C is short circuited from L to load and from rheostat output to load. So this is the connections. Okay. Now when you want to, now we want to give the connections for the voltmeter. At last we will give the connections for the voltmeter. So from the positive terminal, from the positive terminal we will connect to the positive of the is nothing but uh, positive means here we will consider it as a line. So from the line to line we are connecting and now I want to measure the voltage of 300. You can see the scale. So lower scale is of uh, 150. I want the upper reading. So how to convert 150 into 300 is with a multiplication factor of 2. So here ammeter I require for 5 amperes range are directly connected therefore multiplication of into 1 and now I want to give the watt meter connection. So from the supply to M, L to load and L to rheostat input and this and we have to connect the pressure coil. So pressure coil you can see the bottom scale how to connect the pressure coil. So the rating of the current is 5 amperes and we have to connect in voltage of 300. So 300 vertical and 5 amps horizontal we will get a scaling of into 4. That's why this value has to be multiplied into 4. And now we can see this uh, connection from pressure coil. Once again, it has to go to neutral. Okay. So I'm taking one black color wire and I'm connecting from pressure coil to neutral. So this is 300 and we are going to connect here. Okay. So see this uh, connections. So at positive, we are going to have one from the voltmeter and another from the ammeter. But at the neutral, we are having one from the voltmeter and another from the watt meter and third one is from the rheostat. So at neutral, you are going to have three wires. You can see here at neutral, one is for the watt meter, one is for the rheostat and one is for the voltmeter. But at positive, one is for voltmeter, one is for the ammeter. This is the connections for the measurement of power and power factor. The prediction value is we require to get the power factor from the range of 0 to 0 0.5. Now let us try to give the connections. Okay. So we want to give the supply. So connect the positive to positive of the supply. Connect negative to negative. Okay. Now let us try to give this uh, remaining connection. So this is how to give the supply. Okay. And before you vary it, keep the rheostat in minimum resistance position. Okay. So here you can see here this rheostat should be in maximum resistance position 
and auto transformer should be in minimum resistance procedure so just you can follow the procedure those who are unable to understand so first one you have to give the connections as per the circuit diagram you have given the connections keep the rheostat in maximum resistance position so this is the input and here we are collecting the output therefore the position of the rheostat is maximum and keep the variac in minimum output position okay so we are going to keep the variac in zero output position and we want to do the experimentation and we are supposed to get the power factor in the range of uh, zero to one that's what our range generally this like an inductive load you'll get the power factor as 0 0.9 let's try to do the experimentation part hi everyone so now we are going to do the practical experimentation on measurement of power as well as the power factor in the previous video we have been shown the connection diagrams for the circuit diagram now we'll try to do the practical experimentation part so first turn on the dp switch and just press the green color button supply will be available which is an single phase supply now the initial instruction we have been given auto transformer should be in minimum position and rheostat the wire bound coil variable rheostat should be in maximum resistance position such a way that it allows only minimum current to flow so now see here so this is a voltmeter reading you have to write down into two this is ammeter reading you have to write down into one this is watt meter reading you have to write down into four all this multiplication already explained see here i had connected for 300 lower scale is of 130 but i require upper scale how to convert 150 into 300 is multiply two times so base scale i have been connected to 5 amps directly multiplication scale is into one so coming to this factor here so total current is 5 ampere and voltage i have been connected for 300 so 300 volts and 5 ampere the scale so x axis is 5 ampere voltage is 300 the multiplication factor is into 4 now let us try to do the experiment and already we kept the rheostat in maximum resistance position therefore minimum current only will flow slowly vary the rheostat and we have to apply the voltage of 40 volts okay so applying 40 means here you have to apply 80 volts 80 by 4 80 by 2 is nothing but 40 is nothing but 80 if you want to apply you have to divide by 2 so now you see here slowly i am adjusting the auto transformer then i am going to get the voltage is 40 originally showing is 40 but 40 into 2 why because you have to multiply two times 40 into 2 is 80 volts and here you can get the current which is 1 1.2 1.3 ampere current and coming to the power this is at 25 25 into 4 now the same values we are going to tabulate so when you start uh, tabulating it here so the voltage is nothing but uh, 40 into 2 and next one current of uh, 1.3 ampere and this is uh, 25 into 4 is nothing but 400 so when you perform the power formula for power factor p equal to v i cos phi so here you are getting the power as 100 divided by the voltage is how much 80 into 1.3 approximately you are going to get as 0 0.98 so this 0 0.98 is nothing but power factor so why it is called a factor means so so we have the formula p by v i that is equal to cos phi so cos phi is nothing but factor okay so this factor may range from 0 to 1 if it is from 0 to 0 0.5 it is called low power factor and is from 0 0.1 to 5 to 1 then it's called unity power factor meter so if you're measuring the power from 0 i mean power factor from 0 to 0 0.5 then you have to use an lpf watt meter if you're measuring the power factor from 0 0.5 to 1 then you have to use an upf watt meter this watt meter is an upf watt meter that's why we are getting an upf watt meter so now this is factor and this is nothing but the power so when it is multiplied so p is equal to v into i we are going to call it as power and this is nothing but a factor of phi therefore cos phi is called factor so overall it is called as the power factor therefore this is called the factor factor multiplied with power that's why it is called power factor and automatically we are going to calculate its value and like this we have to take uh, multiple readings okay so now we have done for 80 now let's try to do for 100 volts okay so when you do for 120 volts so 120 by 2 is nothing but 60 we have to apply slowly increase or you can do it for 100 also so i am doing for 60 
so it's nothing but 120 by 2 which is nothing but 60 so 60 into 2 120 and directly into 1 which is nothing but 1.6789 1 1.9 amps and here it is nothing but we are connected to 55 okay so now let's try to write down uh, those readings so this is nothing but uh, 60 into 2 we are going to get 120 and this is uh, 1 1.9 milliampere and here you are going to get 50 into 4 so 50 into 4 is how much 200 then automatically 200 divided by 120 into 1.9 then you are going to get the power factor as 0 0.88 okay so this is what the process of doing the experimentation and this is the experimentation setup for the measurement of power this is the measurement of power and from this power you are going to get the power factor power factor ranges from 0 to 1 this the experimentation setup for measuring the power and power factor after completing the experiment bring the auto transformer to minimum output position and just press this red button and just isolate the supply then there is no risk you can perform the next purpose of the experimentation part hope you are able to understand the theoretical calculations will be left in the card then you can observe from there thank you for watching we will meet in the another video